Outdoor Living Concepts presents What's Cooking California? Brought to you by Folded Hills Winery and Barkingham Tet Hotel. Featuring Chef Andrew Copley and Leonardo Curdy with special guest Melinda Lee. Welcome to California. A little bit of S&P, a little bit of salt and pepper. Mm. Es buenísima. You can stir it and whisk it and taste it and monkey with it and get it just right and have a wonderful time. Let's see what's cooking today. Benvenuti a Leonardo Ristorante and Pizzeria in Solvang. Today I'm going to show you some fun things to do with pizza dough. So one of my favorite recipes today will be the Grissini al prosciutto. It's homemade pizza dough breadstick wrapped with prosciutto di parma and served with a butter and sage sauce. I get a pizza dough bowl. In Italian we call it pallina. So just cut strips about three or four inch with your hand gentle, you stretch it. There is one. There is two. Look at how gentle. There is three. And there is four. I got my pizza, pala. Shake the flour out. And I'm going to bake it. So if you use like a home oven, you can use a pizza stone. I like to have the, my pizza oven at 500. Keep the stone inside for about maybe an hour. The grissini are ready. Next step, use a good quality prosciutto for this recipe. So what I like to do is just wrap the grissini with prosciutto. And this is the secret right here. Melted butter and sage. Unsalted butter because the prosciutto is already salted. Yeah, I like it a lot. One of my favorite things just to have than this is like a little white truffle oil. If you have a fresh truffle, you can do that too. But this is really simple, and you can find this in any store. Just a drop. Che bel profumo. Prego. One of the things we offer Leonardo for kids is uh, Italian play dough. It's basically a pizza dough. One thing that uh, was really impressive to me was one kid did like a cinnamon roll. I'm gonna go ahead and show you one right now. So what they did, they picked up a pizza dough and cut them in a half, like this. So it's longer, look at that. It's longer. And kids do this on the table when they are here. And I thought that was one of the best. So they just roll it like this. It just went like this. And after it was done, he took the knife, the, the bread knife, he cut it. And he went like this. Then I go, that's a snail roll. That was one of the best things we did at the restaurant, on the table for kids. What we do, we actually cook it for them. I will show you how, what I'll do. It's in the kitchen, we have like a pan full of oil. Now just take them over. So after we cook it, we dip them in sugar and serve them with a little chocolate uh, bowl sauce. So the kids will have this before they go home. So it's cooked. Just I have him in a little paper towel to absorb the oil. So what I do, I have like a bowl covered with sugar. I want to flavor my, my sugar with lemon flavor, just to give it like a little bit of a sweetening and tart. And if you don't have time to do that, you can just get a zester, zest a little bit of the lemon, okay? When the cinnamon snail is ready, 
We just dip them in sugar. Look at that. The parents, they love when we dip them in sugar. Once the kids are ready, we present it to the table. The kids take a good look. They rip a piece out. And they either dip them in chocolate or the vanilla. I myself like the vanilla sauce. Look at that. Mm. It's the best. We're so excited to have you back with us for our new season. Trio has the happiest happy hour every day from 11 to 7. Come join us. Brunch Go Go from 10 a.m. Saturdays and Sunday. Enjoy our three course prefix every day from 11 to 6 for $22.99. Things are really heating up, but the vibe is always cool at Trio. Trio, where Palm Springs eats. Welcome to Barkingham Pet Hotel, California. We are a five-star luxury, real hotel for dogs. Your dog will be treated like California royalty. We have an indoor, outdoor facility. Everything in the building is a California theme. California Dreaming Pet Boutique, California Grooming. Your dog can come to us for a whole spa day. California Dreaming Pet Art, a pet art photography studio. California Paws Rescue. We have a certified dog trainer who offers behavior training and agility training. Our large luxury suites have size beds. We also have the Intercontinental for cat boarding. We've got about 22,000 square feet for your dog to have a wonderful time and a wonderful vacation stay. Doesn't your best friend deserve the best? California Paws Rescue is a 501c3 nonprofit. It is part of Barkingham Pet Hotel. If you're looking for a loving dog to rescue and to give a home to, please visit California Paws Rescue website. Nobody says outdoor entertaining better than outdoor living concepts. Transform your backyard into the ultimate barbecue and entertainment experience. From professional barbecue equipment, outdoor kitchens, to custom-built fireplaces, fire tables, and fire pits. Outdoor Living Concepts, your exclusive dealer for jacuzzi brand spas. From rustic to modern, we can customize your backyard into the ultimate in backyard fun. Visit our contractor wholesale design showroom open to the public in Palm Desert. Let Outdoor Living Concepts make your outdoors the great outdoors. And the making for the pizza margherita, named after the Queen of Italy, Margherita, done in Naples. Pizza dough, always make sure you leave them outside a couple hours, even more until they double the size, which is light, and the pizza will not become chewy. Here we go, just with your hand from the inside. This is the traditional way we do right now, but also we will show you a different way. So with your hand inside, all right, on my right, right here, I have my acrobatic pizza chef, Stefano. Just with your hand, look at the movement. I also, I help myself by stretching. Let the pizza hang on the sides, if you are at your house. Marble countertop works well, if you have. If you don't, just walk around. Look at that. A simple shake, just like my hand just to get the flour out. You're also wondering what we have underneath here. It's a mix of semolina and flour. The semolina, it's just like a little pebble almost, who makes everything roll smooth. All right, and I have a pomodoro, pizza pomodoro, which I'm gonna go in to give you the recipe. Just a little spoon, I don't like too much, so the pizza doesn't become soggy. So pomodoro is basically San Marzano, grounded, puree, use your hands, use a machine. I like to put just a little bit of salt and a little bit of olive oil. But sometimes also I like to add a tablespoon of sugar to create some sweetness, if the tomato are not so sweet. Basil, underneath, I like the flavor. 
and then fresh mozzarella, ground it. Okay, don't use it very fine. Use them a little bit coarse. And then just a little bit we do right now, fior di latte. This is an Italian Napolitan pizza, a mozzarella for pizza. You'll see what I'm talking about when it's ready. Here we go. Pizza peel. We'll stretch it a little bit more. And you put them in, shake it, and pull back. That was the pizza margherita. Also on the pizza, if you have a pizza oven at your house, you wanna turn the pizza. You wanna turn the pizza and you wanna keep the pizza in the same spot. The reason why is because that's where the pizza is cooking. And if you keep moving, it will burn because each spot is other than the other. Here we go, pizza margherita is ready. Pizza margherita. The way I like to finish my pizza is to sprinkle some extra virgin olive oil. And then oregano from Calabria. I like to keep him in the bag so he stays fresh and you just like shake it. Remember what I say, from Calabria, this is my hometown. Yeah, here we go, you just cut it. I like myself to cut them in four pieces. It's nice, we do not break the pizza much. And you can fold it. Mm. È buonissima. Leonardo Ristorante is proud to present close capturing for the hearing impaired. Welcome to Desert Outreach Synagogue, the voice of the valley. A place called home to anyone who needs one. A place of incredible music, community, conversation, and connection. Synagogue is a place for everyone. Come join us. You already belong. Hi, I'm Robin Ford. Thinking about selling your home? We have the newest innovation in selling, fast track marketing, custom design just for you. By using it, your home could be sold while your neighbor still sits on the market. If you're looking for a home, we have many great ones to show you. So for a smooth transaction, call 760-219-0655. Folded Hills is about sharing what we have. The way we make the wine is a very hands-off policy with as little intervention as possible. The grapes are all grown organically. I come from the beer world. We really listened to this land and we chose the grown varietals because this is what this land and this place calls for. We have weak Wi-Fi but strong connections. A great place to unplug. One of my favorite pizza is the marinara, which uh, I already stretched to one here just a minute ago, okay? It's just garlic, oregano, and olive oil, no cheese. So I'll just go ahead and slice the garlic on top. And by the way, this is the only way I eat garlic. Top. I 
Ale hned by to bylo bojo. Again, I grab it. We can kind of fix a little bit. Always the last touch. You always get dressed, nice suit before you leave the house. You keep the final look, okay? That's we do the same thing with the pizza. Bake it. Again, 30 seconds. When this is finished, what I'll do is I just go ahead and pour a little bit of oregano from Calabria and uh, maybe a little bit more extra virgin. It's delicious. Ecco qui, la mia favorita, pizza marinara. Look, just simple like that. We put a little bit of oregano. One more drop. Assaggiamola, eh? Let's go. Eh? Va bene? They say when the moon is the pie, it's like big pizza pie, it's Leonardo's. <laughs> So our next pizza today is going to be pizza alle fragole. It's a pizza with strawberry and mascarpone cheese. Being in the Central Coast Valley near Santa Maria, the capital of the strawberry, we made this pizza for our guests. So I have a pizza pie, okay, right here. Go ahead and use a little bit of mozzarella. All right, just spread your mozzarella. And then I use a mascarpone. Mascarpone cheese, it's right here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple dollop. One, two, you can use your finger if you like. Mascarpone mostly used in the Italian cooking for well known as a tiramisu. It's like a, like a cream cheese. I have my mozzarella. My mascarpone, I have some sliced strawberry right here that I'm going to use for my pizza. A few just right now. This is like almost like a little fun dessert pizza. Nothing fancy. No oil, no oregano, no garlic on this one. When everything is on, just get it and bake it. I'm going to keep it just simple so we can test the freshness of the strawberry. So my pizza is ready. Also, I like to spread some, a little bit of sugar and I have a torch just to caramelize a little bit, look like a creme brulee, just to give it a little bit, like a fancy look, you know? You have guests at your house and you don't feel baking all day. That takes just like five minutes. Just caramelize your sugar. Ecco qui, pizza alle fragole. A glass of limoncello, and we are in heaven. Hi, my name is Greg Jones. My wife and I bought Gold Coast Motors 26 years ago after running the 10th largest Ford dealership in the United States. Yes, they are small, but what you get is 33 years of experience and Greg's personal attention to detail. He buys every car, truck, and SUV that goes on the lot. Our family has bought 14 vehicles from Greg. We are members of Cuddle, so financing is not an issue. Call me, you'll be glad you did. We're not going anywhere. Call Gold Coast Motors. 
805-350-1350. Hi, I'm Leonardo. I bring to you regional Italian food from Italy, my home, to you, to Solbank. Cooking is like love. You either throw yourself all in, or you don't do it at all. We're so excited to have you back with us for our new season. Trio has the happiest happy hour every day from 11 to 7. Come join us. Brunch at Go-Go from 10 a.m. Saturdays and Sunday. Enjoy our three-course prefix every day from 11 to 6 for $22.99. Things are really heating up, but the vibe is always cool at Trio. Trio, where Palm Springs eats. Today I'm going to show my friend Caroline how to make a bomboloni. It's Italian pizza donuts with sugar and limone. It's like a donut. A donut? With sugar, and you'll find it with Nutella, with, with crema donut and chocolata. Fabulous. Here we go, we have a pizza, una pallina, pizza donuts. Pallina means a little bowl. Also using pallina, me. Pallina, little pallina. bowl. So go ahead, right there. If you, know. if you like to help jangly, okay. Just go ahead and squeeze. Like Gen this? Yeah, it's just very little. Oh, it feels yeah. really soft. It doesn't feel like pizza. And look how light it is too, eh? So I got a little cookie dough. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of time I use anything I can in a circle. So you just go ahead and cut it. You do one. Just like that. That's perfect. Two. We're gonna make a couple extra because I, I'm a, I have a feeling I'm gonna like it. You're gonna like it? Yes. I like it already. <laughs> okay. You don't even have to fry it. <laughs> Here we go. Go ahead and cut and shape just a few for me. We'll go ahead and put them right here. So the, what do you do? Just get your palm of your hands yeah. like this and squeeze. And just do oh, like with this. with your palm. Now okay. lift it up. Oh, it's you already See, add a little pressure see, and it's cut it. One. One. I did that one. That looks terrible. This one has a little lip. A little lip? Yeah, we'll see them in the pan. So once it's ready, four or five. Uh -huh. Okay, we'll put them in a olive oil, hot, frying. So what do you do? Just dip them in, don't throw them in, okay? Don't throw them don't in. Don't throw them in because you're gonna have good tip. So you don't want in that. Never going like this, always outside. Not unless you're wearing a diving helmet. So look this baby right now. They're puffing up a little bit, okay? They're puffing up a lot. I shake them, I wake them up. <laughs> just in case they sleep, okay? And then, just go ahead and turn. Oh, that's mine with the double lip. Double it's lip, it's up. right here, look at that. It's popping up. I'll keep an eye on yours. You see? Just go ahead and turn it. If you wait too long, then they just keep flipping. First of all, let's go ahead and take this on really quick, okay? All right, just go. Oh, look how light it is. I eat them, I eat them very strong, or oh, these are very light, okay? I think they're very light. <laughs> they are. <laughs> so we leave them here, just leave them like that. Okay. We're just gonna let them rest, rest. while we're doing the donut sole. We have one right here, look it. Yes. I get those beautiful fingers. Yes. Like that, and go like this. Oh my gosh. See? Now I'm gonna make it a little bit more visible. Look at that. Now it's a donut. Now it's a donut with the hole. All right, I put them in the middle. All right? Wow. How about you do one right here? That doesn't look too hard. I'll just find put the hole in, and yeah, then I'll... you just nice and. Like this. Right? Yes, it is. Kind of and you fun. pull a little bit, gentle, pull a you pull bit. a bit. So you want the hole bigger? I don't know yes. how big you want the hole. How's that? That is fantastic. Well, let me see it. You have to yeah, look through it and oh, you yes, tell you, me that oh, part. Oh, yes, you do. Only me. Only you. <laughs> so look at, one is right here. We go ahead and turn again. So now that's American, an American pizza donut. So it's, it's not a bomboloni. We can say bomboloni col buco. What's col buco? With a hole. Oh, with a hole. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and zest a little bit of this lemon mm -hmm. inside here. Just go maybe four or five times. Just go like this. 
So you're zesting a lemon. Just, yeah, just, I know that. Okay, good job. I know about lemon zest. Go. But I'm left-handed, so oh, I do Very it this good, way. very good. So okay. we we'll get it, put it back in the paper right here. How much lemon do you want in here? That's plenty. Plenty, okay. Go ahead and play with the sugar now a little bit. Like that. Play with the sugar. Yes. Okay. I have a little plate right here. Already decor, Stefan already did a nice decoration for us so right beautiful. here. Mm -hmm. We have a vanilla, which is to die for it, and chocolate too. So we get the bomboloni, like. okay? Mm -hmm. Very simple. Just squeeze them in, both sides, shake it. Really? They look delicious. They're so hot. Yes, they are. That's how you like them hot. You don't want to eat them cold, you want them like warm. everything hot. Bomboloni, bomboloni, bomboloni. Should be a song. You can sing the song while you make this. How about we show this? Uh, it looks wonderful. Leonardo and Caroline Bomboloni. How about that? I did a little bit of help. My husband would love this. Yeah, good. Let me. Let's. Why don't we, me and you, make sure first we like, and then we let him try. Okay. So what I like to do myself, just as warm as they are, you break it like that. Look at, still warm. I like uh. vanilla, okay? <laughs> mm. Mm. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This is so much fun, and I learned something new today, and I'm going to add bomboloni to my repertoire. Guests in my home will definitely get this for dessert. Thank, Thank you for, for being my kitchen, Caroline. You're very welcome. I had a great time. Okay. And my husband is just pulling up in his car, and he's going to love this. This is the classic margarita. Yes. Just tomato, mozzarella, and basil. Very basic, but the best. Delicious. All right, now taste one of those. I know, I, I want to get to that. Cause... Yeah, let me show you how you do that, OK? You got to eat it That's a special way. That's my favorite way. part. You just break them in half, OK? And I like, the, as I say, I like the vanilla. He's not a chocolate just... man. Mm. But I know you're a mm. chocolate man. All right. Mm. Hey, hey, break it in half. Do this right. Very good. Of course, you know me sometimes. Break it in half. Go for the whole thing. Oh, you're not going to do the vanilla, you're just going to do the chocolate? I'm, I'm going to go, go for, for the chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> mm. <laughs> what do you think? Is that the best? Did you, you give, give her, her the recipe? recipe? She has the recipe. It's I'm going to have to come back more often. It's the best. I love, I love it. it. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Thank you. This is very nice. <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. You did a great job, honey. <laughs> Thank you. Come back to my restaurant soon. A presto, ciao. And now a moment with Melinda Lee. Mise en place is a French phrase. You hear it all the time in a professional kitchen. A lot of chefs call it mise. It doesn't really have a translation in English, but it means to put everything in its place, to get it all ready. And it is one of the great time savers. It sounds like an extra step, but it really isn't. You can save so much time by doing your mise en place correctly. What you do is get everything together, and the way you start is by reading the recipe. If you don't like the way the recipe is written, if it seems confusing, you can make bullet points for yourself so that it flows in a way that makes sense to you. And then you assemble all of your ingredients, not only the food ingredients, but also all the tools you might need, like a citrus reamer, or measuring cups, spoons, things like that. And then you look at the recipe to see what prep you need to do. Do you need to peel the carrots? Do you need to do something in advance so that it'll be ready when you need it, like melt something in the microwave that then has to cool or poach the chicken or something like that? You can't stop in the middle of the recipe while you go do that or go find that particular implement. And then you begin. What that means is that you have all the fun to do now. You can stir it and whisk it and taste it and monkey with it and get it just right and have a wonderful time. So enjoy. What's cooking California.com for featured recipes.